Hey everybody, Paul Charchian, founder of guillotineleagues.com with you, here to help you better understand bid groups and how to work the waiver wire system. The magic of guillotine leagues is the waiver wire. So understanding this is really important to make sure that you get the players that you want and understand how the process is going to work. To get to the bidding page, I'm on the league, a league homepage right here. Um, you have a couple options, but for the easiest way is to click on team. And then you can either click create bid group or create a new bid group button right here. They'll both take you to the same place, which is the bid group page. Now from this page, you can see all the money that everybody's got left. And you can also see how much I've got left. And, and remind, remember, this is for the whole season. Do not spend all your money in one week. Every now and again, people get that confused. I've got an example I'm going to show you with four players I'm willing to drop and I'm going to bid on six of six different players. I want to explain to you the best way to do this. Let's scroll down a little bit. The player, I always like to sort by ownership percentage because that tends to push the best guys to the top. Clyde Edwards Alaire is available this particular week and I am definitely interested in him. I am going to put a bid into this box of $381. Now, I have to have an associated player to drop, and that player is going to be Darren Fells. So this one's pretty straightforward. I'm dropping Clyde Edwards, or try, I'm dropping Darren Fells to try to add Clyde Edwards Alaire for $381. Now, there are other players that I want, namely Mark Andrews, who I'm really interested in. I do not want to add Mark Andrews into this bid group if I want them both. Any one bid group, this is so important, any one bid group will only process one move per bid group. So I'm going to show you what not to do. If I was willing to drop Mark Andrews and my next, the next player I would drop would be Austin Hooper, I can't get both. It's not going to give me both because they're in one group. This is the wrong thing to do. Instead, we're going to create a separate bid group for Mark Andrews. So we're going to save this one. We're going to create a new bid group. We're going to add in Mark Andrews. I'm going to put a bid of Mark, on Mark Andrews of $171. And now this is another really important point. Because Clyde Edwards-Alaire has got a higher bid, he would be processed first, and Darren Fells may be off my roster, or maybe he's not by the time we're processing Mark Andrews. So I'm going to choose Darren Fells first, and Austin Hooper second. So, again, if I got Clyde Edwards-Alaire, Darren Fells would be off my roster. Then if I got Mark Andrews, it would, it would choose Austin Hooper to drop for Mark Andrews. If I didn't get Clyde Edwards-Alaire, then the player to drop, if I got Mark Andrews, would be Darren Fells. I hope that makes sense. Now, there's another player that I want. It's Devonta Freeman. He's a little farther down the list, so I'm just going to type his name in. And add Devonta Freeman with a bid of, let's call it $57. And for him, I want to go through the same, I want to drop this, still the same order I want to drop in. And I don't know, I might get both Clyde Edwards-Alaire and Mark Andrews, so these two might even be off my team. So I need to build my drop list three players deep. Darren Fells, Austin Hooper, LaMichael P. Ryan is my next least favorable player. So now, just in case I get all three of the guys I'm asking for, I need to list three players here. For my final bid group, I only want to drop one more player possible as a fourth player that I would drop. So what I'm going to do is put all the other players that I'm interested in, which is DeAndre Swift. And take that out. Click on... There we go. DeAndre Swift and Michael Gallup is right here. And a player named Jeff Wilson who does not appear here. So we're going to hit Jeff Wilson right here. Now I'm going to put in bids on these guys. Call it uh, 34 and 21 and for those guys. Now, where this gets interesting again is you'll notice these are contingency players. So the system will try to give me DeAndre Swift first. And if it can't, it will give me Michael Gallup. And if it can't give me Michael Gallup, it'll give me Jeffrey Wilson. 
but I still need to list the four guys I'm willing to drop. And in this case, I'm going to add Baker Mayfield in. The only way Baker Mayfield will actually get dropped is if I hit all three of these and one out of this group as well, then I'd have to drop four players as well. And that's the only way that Baker Mayfield will get dropped. So that becomes our final bid group right there. And it would only process one of those. DeAndre Swift is my primary. Here's my back of contingency guys. And here's the players in order I want to drop. I hope you found this helpful, this explanation for how bid groups work, especially the part at the beginning where I told you what not to do, but that's an easy mistake to make. And I want to make sure that we have covered that right out front. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And I appreciate you playing at guillotineleagues.com.